I don't know if this camera saw that, but that was a five, maybe six pound bass. I haven't thrown a regular spinner bait, regular, you know, standard wire spinner bait over 10 years. I've been using titanium spinner baits, and now I remember why I stopped using regular ones right there. That fish just opened that wide open and just spit that hook. I, I mean, I'm honestly, I probably had a 95% landing ratio on those titanium spinner baits. I just started using this one literally a couple days ago because I'm running low on the titaniums and I didn't have anything in this size with the right blade combination left. So I had this stored away in my garage, brand new Stanley spinner bait. Figured I'd give it a shot. And now I'm sorry I did. You saw that. I lost a so I just now I've lost a snook a little while ago, you saw that, and now that big old bass. Guess where this thing's going? And let that one jump off. Of course, it's not nearly the size of that last fish, but it's a good one. Crushed it. Every one of these bites, you can see this weed line here. They won't hit out here. They're not on the outer edge. They're right along this section, right in here. Problem is, when you got too, too much cluster of weeds, you know, I can't pull the bait through there efficiently with the blades are spinning properly or where it's riding upright. But if you get these little, uh, like these little seams in between where you can pull it through there, right here along this line, right here, that's where every bite will come and has been coming. You know, other times of the year, sometimes I'll bite out here, sometimes they want it right up against the edge. Right now, we're in March right now, these fish are pulled off a little bit. They're not along the edge, nothing spawning that I've seen today, no beds. And they're right here, right in that weed line. And that's where every bite is coming.
Oh my god, that was a giant. Oh, it came back for it again. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. Please, 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 please. Please hit it again. I mean, that was a big one. Come on, baby. Golly. Oh yes. Twenty nine inch snook. Got around that bridge like you saw. Using a little bummer six eight crankbait, chartreuse. They love them. That's a keeper right there, guys. I wanna be eating good tonight. No doubt.
We're getting an exotic adventure today versus snook. These things. what you call a uh, Mayan cichlid. Oh. They're strong. There's peacocks in here. There's everything in here. Might even catch a tarpon. We'll see. Large mouth. He ain't big, but I love him right now. That's the first bass I've caught today. Put in the boat. Spinner bait. Right, here's a decent one. It's the first decent bass this whole day. It's 12.35 right now. I have thrown everything you can imagine that should work this time of year. Nothing. You saw the snook I caught earlier. Mine cichlids. It's the first nice bass. Had to uh, slow down. Just throwing a zoom lizard. Not even sure what color. It's basically purple blue fleck and real lightweight just ba barely dragging it's a 16th ounce weight just barely dragging it on the on the bottom didn't even feel it ticket or anything just walked off with it and that was it so hopefully this will be the deal and get me some more fish Nice explosion right there by a snook. That'll make your heart stop.
and I hope the hat cam got that. That fish came just about out of the water to grab that chatterbait. Actually, it's not a chatterbait, it's a vibrating jig, but it's a striking pure poison. That's what it just got. Beautiful fish. I mean, that was that was a sick strike right there. Hopefully, she came out clear on there. The strike. We'll see. But, whew, been pretty tough, to be honest with you. As I said, that was the only bass I caught, that smaller one that you guys saw a little bit earlier. Snooker biting. You saw the, probably saw that snook come up and try to hit that gambler big easy. But overall, it's been a very, very, very tough bite. So hopefully they're going to kick in a little bit more now. I just had two follows, and then that one actually came up and ate the bait. So hopefully that's a good sign. We'll get back to you.